Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at... A specific immune response is a response that is not specific to a particular pathogen. So, this is also referred to as the innate immune response. There are some other ways that the body will stop itself becoming infected. So physical barriers, such as the skin, gastrointestinal tract, respiratory tract, um, eyelashes, and such forth, will all go and trap pathogens and destroy them. We've got other defense mechanisms, such as mucus, bile, gastric acid, tears, saliva, and sweat, which all will go and help break down pathogens. And there are some general immune responses, so things like inflammation or compartmentalizing pathogens so they can no longer get any further. Inflammation works because it increases blood flow to that area and pathogens will most often only reproduce at a very, very specific temperature. Another way that the body will go and protect itself is by forming blood clots. So blood clot is a thickened mass of blood and other tiny substances called platelets, and these clots stop excess bleeding. So a blood clot forms as part of this cascade process, and there are many, many different chemicals and proteins that are involved in this. So the general way that it starts is by an injury, so a small tear in the blood vessel wall, and that causes bleeding. That then leads to a constriction of that blood vessel. So this is to help control blood loss. So the vessels around it narrow, which limit the amount of blood that's flowing to that area. A platelet plug is formed. So this is when you get tiny cells or parts of cells called platelets that are activated. These platelets stick to one another and form a plug inside of the womb, effectively stopping any more bleeding out. The next thing that happens is that a fibrin clot forms. So fibrin proteins will go and interweave between the platelets and will go and help stabilize the plug. So to look at the process step by step, we start off with damaged tissues, so your platelets are activated. A chemical called thromborin is released. Calcium ions aid in the production of thromborin. Prothrombrin found in the blood will go and form the chemical thromborin. And thrombrin catalyzes fibrogen to turn into fibrin, which in turn forms the blood clot. That will go and help in the immune response or histamine. So histamine is a compound which is released by cells in response to an injury that raises the temperature. Histamine is often associated with allergic reactions. And cytokines, so cytokines, there is a number of different types of cytokines, such as interferon, interleukin, and other growth factors, which are secreted by certain cells in the immune system that have effects on other cells. People can get fevers in response to infections. So most pathogens reproduce best at around 37 degrees. So if you have a fever, that raises your body temperature and helps lower the amount of reproduction that the pathogen can carry out. Opsins can be produced. So opsins are chemicals that will bind or tag different pathogens. A good example of an opsin is an antibody. 
So these antibodies will go and bind to specific antigens on the cell surface of the pathogen or the surface of the pathogen and either go and cause them to agglutinate, so stick together, or will alert the rest of the immune system, so things like phagocytes, that they need to go and destroy that cell. So cytokines are produced by a number of different cells. So cytokines act as cell signaling molecules informing other phagocytes that the body is under attack. These then cause the phagocytes to go and move towards that area. Thanks for watching.